Hello, this is the reflection for the Thursday in the first week of Advent. And the reflection comes from Delia Smith. Uh, she rose to fame as a television presenter who taught the basic skills of cookery. She's a devout Roman Catholic and her feast for Advent and the feast for Lent were bestsellers. But before that, we hear a couple of short passages of scripture before we hear Delia Smith's reflection. From St. Matthew's Gospel, chapter 7, verses 24 to 27. Everyone then who hears these words of mine and acts on them will be like a wise man who built his house on rock. The rain fell, the floods came, and the winds blew and beat on that house, but it did not fall, because it had been founded on rock. And everyone who hears these words of mine, and does not act on them, will be like a foolish man who built his house on sand. The rain fell and the floods came, and the winds blew and beat against that house, and it fell, and great was its fall. Then we go back to the Psalms. Psalm 62, verses 5 to 8. For God alone my soul waits in silence, for my hope is from him. He alone is my rock and my salvation, my fortress, I shall not be shaken. On God rests my deliverance and my honour, my mighty rock, my refuge is in God. Trust in him at all times, O people. Pour out your heart before him. God is a refuge for us. And the reflection from Delia Smith is called The Safety of the Rock. We are instructed to build our faith on an everlasting rock. A belief that will endure suffering and hardship is one that is based on solid reality. And if we are obedient to the word of God, we will eventually begin to step out in trust, understanding that this rock-like power can sustain us far beyond anything we can imagine. But to say, Lord, Lord, to do all the right things, even to offer a lifetime of good works, is not enough. What the gospel teaches us is radical commitment and radical trust. Jesus himself tells us, do not worry about anything. Set your hearts on the kingdom of heaven and God's righteousness first, and all that you need will be given to you as well. I believe one of the signs of a life lived in obedience to the word of God is serenity. Serenity in a person is a sure sign of faith built on a rock of trust. And to achieve this, we need to build up a relationship of real trust by learning how to trust God in the little everyday circumstances of our lives. If you are a person who tends to worry, why not start right now? Just pray and ask the Holy Spirit to bring to mind some small anxiety that's been nagging away at you. Then simply ask God to deal with it. Every time you feel it coming back to niggle you, just say a short prayer. Into your hands, Lord, I commend such and such. Then when you see how simply and easily God deals with it, offer thanks and take another step in trust. Our closing prayer. You are the rock on which I build my faith my trust, my hope. You are my rock on which I build my life, my love, my all. You are the rock on which you build your church, your saints, your people. Help us to be steadfast in our faith, enduring in our love, and faithful in our lives. Amen. <laughs>